Man Land on the Moon, 1969, I came up with the idea and I wrote the song Skinhead Moon Stamp. And it's turned to be a legend song. Now it's 35 years old. Now it's four generation. And I'm still touring in it. It sells sold over seven million copies. Moon Stamping! Get ready! We got three million miles to reach on the moon! Yeah, 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 yeah! Well, my reason to be here today is a honor because uh, I knew Laurel Aiken in 1965. He's the one who discovered me. Because he was looking for a band to back him with my band, The Simmer Rip. And um, at the time, we called The Bees. Se piden 10 segundos de silencio por Laura Aiken. 10 seconds silent. Silencio. All right, applause. Yeah. Para homenajear a Laurel Aitken hemos escogido sobre todo lo que es la música clásica jamaicana, que es lo que comprende desde mediados de los 60 hasta el año 73, 74. Nosotros, para empezar, somos un sound system de reggae y, como definición, un sound system de reggae pincha en, en vinilo. Y es un vicio porque empiezas a comprar y dices quiero este, quiero este y no paras. I'm really pleased and proud to be here. The short time I knew him, uh, uh, you know, I found him to be very, very down, down to earth. You know, a uh, very uh, sincere and kind person. You know, and someone who is always quick to give uh, good advice. Alistair Collins uh, made some tracks, two tracks, uh, Double Barrel and of course Monkey Monkey Spanner. Uh, Winston uh, Riley, the, the founder, member of the Techniques, came to me and asked me to join the group. And Winston came to me and asked me if I could put my voice on both tracks, which I did. You know, and the rest is history. It became one in England, and now I'm I'm here. <laughs> 